What's up guys, we're back with another educational video and this week we're talking about the fast food only diet. So a recent story in the press is about how a Nashville man, Kevin McGinnis, lost almost 60 pounds over 100 days eating nothing but McDonald's. And people are absolutely blown away by this. Well, I'm not, okay? I'm really, really, really not. Uh, if you recall, 12 years ago, Dr. Mark Halb, a professor at Kansas State, lost 30 pounds in 12 weeks eating nothing but foods from 7-Eleven. He called it the 7-Eleven diet. They renamed it to the Twinkie diet because he ate a lot of Twinkies. He lost almost 30 pounds and his blood work improved for pretty much every marker of health. And people were like, how is that possible? It can't be possible. Well, he was eating 1,800 calories a day. Once again, showing that caloric restriction is unfreaking defeated when it comes to weight loss and improving metabolic health. But still, there are some people who will insist that you cannot get healthier if you are not eating the right foods. And again, I don't wanna sound like I'm encouraging you to just eat junk food. It's a bad idea to just eat junk food on a diet for many reasons, micronutrients being one, not getting enough fiber being another, and you're gonna be really freaking hungry, which is exactly what Dr. Haub said, was he didn't recommend the diet because by the end of the diet, he just wanted to have a nice big salad so he could be satiated. Kevin McGinnis basically ate nothing but McDonald's for three times a day, 100 days, and lost almost 60 pounds. So how is that possible? Because he did portion control. So what he did was he only ate half of what was provided, and then he'd eat the other half later. So he was eating half the normal portion sizes at McDonald's. So if your normal portion size is say 1,000 calories, you eat it three times a day and you eat half of that, you're eating 500 calories at three meals, you're eating 1,500 calories a day, which completely explains why he lost so much weight in such a short period of time. But some people will still say, well, you can't get healthier doing that. It's not a healthy way of doing things. I don't think it's the most healthy way to do it for sure. But if you look at his blood work, his cholesterol is down by 65 points. I assume he means his LDL cholesterol and his triglycerides dropped by over 200 points. And his HbA1c is down significantly. So he improved his blood lipids, his markers of insulin sensitivity, and cardiovascular disease risk by eating nothing but McDonald's. Do I think McDonald's is anything special for weight loss? Absolutely not. In fact, I think it's probably a bad idea for most people for weight loss. But if you control your portion sizes and restrict calories, you lose body fat, you lose weight, and guess what happens when you lose body fat? You get healthier. I don't think this is a great idea for the vast majority of people because you're not gonna get very much fiber, you're not gonna feel real satiated, and he did say he was very hungry by the time the next meal would come around. So I don't know how sustainable this diet is gonna be for him. You could certainly lose weight through nothing more than portion control. The other things he did was he said he switched to water from regular soda, he didn't drink alcohol, and he didn't really have snacks. I can promise you, for those of you out there who are overweight or obese, if you eliminate snacks and just have your regular meals, if you eliminate alcohol or severely limit it, and you stop consuming regular soda, 90% of you will lose a significant amount of body weight. Then, if you just take whatever portions you eat and cut them by like a third, you'll lose body fat pretty quickly too. His wife is now on this diet on day 60, I believe they said at the time, and she's lost 18 pounds, showing that it's not just men, it also works for women. This is not shocking because we have hundreds of years of research and thousands of human randomized control trials demonstrating that if you limit your calories, limit your portion sizes, you lose weight. I hope nobody's mind blown by this, but unfortunately everyone seems to be mind blown, including the news agencies. Like, wow, we just can't believe that limiting calories and portion sizes would lead to weight loss. News flash in 2023, if you don't eat like an and you limit your portion sizes, you can lose weight. Wow, somebody hire me for NASA. I could have told them this a long time ago. That's why our app Carbon Diet Coach is so helpful. If you like to eat certain foods, you can fit them within your macros and calorie goal and still lose weight. But it's not just a weight loss app. We also have maintenance goals as well as lean gaining options and reverse dieting options. So if you're interested in that, customized nutrition coaching for less than $10 a month, Click the link in the description and sign up, designed by smart people. I'll catch you guys next week.